Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Celebrity Big Brother Chat. Oh my, it's episode 10 already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so last time Meta quit, I mean he was voted out. It was such a bummer, like really? We only get so many evictions here, and two of them so far have been quitters. I'm so tired of these celebrities. My attention span is depleted. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy's gonna miss Meta. She's really been uh, laying it on thick with everybody after they go, and I think she knows the jury's gonna be watching the show when they get out of the house, or maybe not. He was they might probably not care. only one of the few that could tolerate her, though. <laughs> Because he Cause didn't Meta really was cool care. With everybody. Yeah. He didn't have like enemies in the house. Yeah. But so. yeah, they they showed us a flashback. Um, because if you weren't following the feeds, it was probably like a whoa moment when Omarosa put him up on the block. But he's been asking to go home since the beginning. But he made like one final plea before the live eviction. Send me home. I'm going nuts. He's got anxiety. Yeah. Hmm. So Ross and Marissa, uh, they want to go to the finals with Mark and James. Do they? They have two final four deals right now. Mark and James and Ari and Brandy. So there is a plus to going with Mark and James. Yes. They figure it would be less emotional for them. They wouldn't have to like feel bad if they cut them. But you know what? They, I think they really want to go with Ari They would have been stupid not to make final twos with everybody. I mean, Final Four is with everybody. What do you mean? Except for Om Omarosa. If one of the girls gets cut or whatever, it would be smart to hop over to the boys. If one of the boys gets cut... Oh, of course. I mean, it makes Come sense. On. The thing is, you got to make sure you keep all those plates spinning. Yeah, exactly. Well, this time, uh, they actually came up with a name. Oh, they shouldn't have. <laughs> the Alliance. Is that the first named Alliance this season? I don't remember hearing any other ones. Do you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. The group, the original Girls Alliance and Ross, they were calling themselves Dynasty. Oh, okay. But that's the only other one I can think of. And Black Girl Magic. Right. <laughs> All right, so this one is Roomy Squad. What? Oh, God. James was coming up with some really bad ones. I think D's Nuts was better than that. I would have picked D's Nuts out of those choices. All right. So, James does not like Brandy at all. And Brandy does not like James. So, it's a mutual dislike. Well, James was wishing that Ross hadn't used the veto and had gotten rid of Brandy because... Okay. A couple things here. <laughs> I can't blame him. Number one, you do not not use the veto if you're up on the block. If you're yeah. up on the block, you better damn well use that veto on yourself or you deserve to go. Mm -hmm. So Ross did the right thing. Number yes, two. Of course he did. There's no question about yeah. that. Number two, it was getting to a point where people were starting to really worry about Meta's well-being. Yeah. And he had to go. So, right. yeah. Sorry, your, your get rid of Brandy plan is going to have to Gonna have to wait. Gonna have to hold for a minute, please. Oh. <laughs> hold for Brandy plan. Yeah. All right. So Ross wants everyone to band together to do his dirty work and get rid of Omarosa because he's the she's the only one that he's not working with in the house. Right. He feels that Omarosa is coming after him, and she is because <laughs> when she was H O H last week, Ross was definitely her number yeah, one target, and she was not afraid to tell everybody that. So yeah, he definitely wants her gone for good reason, and also. Like you said, he's aligned with everyone else. And everybody, it seems, has different targets. Everyone has their struggles this season. Yeah. To James... Ross's face, they're like, oh, yeah, we'll get rid of Omarosa, sure. Yeah. No. Or Ari is like, mm, that's not best for us because James is a big target for James her. James is coming after me. And he is. Yeah. Not I really first, want her to but win. <laughs> I know, right? I'm rooting for Ari, too. Um... He's definitely going for Brandy first, but Ari is not far behind. Well, Omarosa is not happy unless she's doing a little shit stirring, so she tells the girls that the boys told her to put up Marissa. Right. And she actually, they didn't show it here, but she actually told Marissa that the girls said that as well. Right. So she was basically like, everybody wants you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't sit well with Marissa. She gave it a... Yeah, so All right. put that on hold for a second. We're going to come back to that. It's time for the HOH competition, mm -hmm. and it's called Red Carpet Ride. Wow. And it's a real magic carpet. You don't know. 
It's going to be played in two heats of three. It's boys and girls. Girls heat, guys heat. Right. And the top three are going to the finals. Oh my god! Did they, <laughs> did they break it up like that on purpose? The girls versus the guys? I think so. Yeah, um, I don't think that was random. Okay. Yeah, I guess because... Uh, they wanted some suspense of like who was going to well, make it. Well, I think and... they also wanted uh, it to be fair when they made the carpet not that shaky. That's another thing I was thinking. This is so easy for them to manipulate. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Because they could have made it taut way soon, like at different times, and right. the two heats wouldn't even know. So right. we see, we see. Mm -hmm. But anyway, all right, you gotta just get across a shaky your carpet. red carpet. But it's like <laughs> it was nearly impossible before they tightened it up a little bit. Yeah, there was two tightenings, I believe. Okay, one made it bearable, but pretty much still difficult. Yeah. And then the final one... You could I just mean, crawl across. Yeah. So anyway, the girls were up first. And, and Brandy was the first one to make it across. After it was completely tightened. Yeah. And then... Uh, then Marissa and then Ari. Yeah. They took I'm a long time. I'm surprised Ari uh, wasn't faster. You know what? I think she was at she a bad part. She fell at an inopportune moment. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because it had tightened more when she was already mm -hmm. pretty far. Which I think they did not want her to become H O H again. Why? Just because they wanted because variety. because she was going to go after James, and they didn't oh. want that right now. So I think they really manipulated that carpet at the specific time so Could that be. I don't know. Okay, well the boys heat. Uh, <laughs> Ross was like, "Yeah, I'm going to throw this." <laughs> Okay, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, he's going into this with the mindset of, I'm throwing this, but I need to make it not look super obvious. It sure didn't look obvious. He didn't obvious. have to try. <laughs> <laughs> he was at a complete disadvantage on this because... Uh, yeah, the guys definitely did it better than the girls. Did it faster. Yeah. Oh, Which is sorry. surprising because usually on these reality shows when they have a balance beam thing or whatever, it's always a girls competition because guys just don't have as good a balance as girls. Yeah. But the girls were talking about it on the live feeds. They were kind of at a disadvantage here because until it got to the tightest right. whatever, you really had to like drag yourself across. And that's painful for a lady it's painful, <laughs> compared and they to a guy. They did not have the same upper body strength that a guy True, yeah, that's have. that's gonna take a lot of upper body strength. Right. Girls have more lower body right, strength. Right, right. Alright, so, uh, James made it across before it got easy, and so well, did so Mark. Well, so Mark. Yeah. So that, that was surprising. Mark was actually the first one in their group to finish. Right. And Ross, he just wanted to quit. But they were all like, come on, man, you could do it! It was a real Chris Powell moment. You know what was shocking? What? The freaking times. Yeah. It seemed like the guys took forever, but Mark, it only took him one minute and 23 seconds. It was <laughs> like we were watching this for hours. This package was way longer than the actual heat, which was crazy. Yeah. Uh, James was not far behind with 152, so they both qualified, and it was down to that last spot. Which Brandy took with six minutes and forty eight seconds. So there was what quite a, a jump there. Yeah, I think Ro even Ross's though was not. I I was, was like kind of surprised. Something? It was like eight. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like fifteen minutes or nope. twenty minutes or something because he was inching across. He was inchworming it mm -hmm. at the end, so they didn't want him to quit. Damn, that whole competition must have taken like half an hour tops. Even with the resets and everything. <laughs> I don't know, but it was time for the final heat. So you've got Mark, James, and Brandy all facing off. All right. So James made it across. He was just like, blah, 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 done. Yeah, right but away. he did not hit the buzzer. He's just standing there. Brandy's like, what are you doing? <laughs> hit the buzzer. So this little sly fox was like, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to stand here with my hand over the buzzer. Right. See if Mark can make it before Brandy. If he right. does, I'll give him the HOH because we're cool, and then I'll still get to play in the next one. However, if Brandy sneaks Gets up... close. Yeah, he'll hit boop. the buzzer. Yeah. I mean, it's a smart strategy, but it's definitely showing your hand big time. But yeah. I guess they don't really have to worry about that because no. it's pretty obvious that they're working together. Okay. 
So it happened just as James planned. Mark was able to get across and he's the new HOH. Brandy was pretty pissed about it. I mean, I don't blame her. I would be pretty upset too if I were in her position. But that's just how the game works. Does it really matter at this point? Does it really matter at this point? <laughs> All right, so Mark wants to target Ariadna and Brandy. I mean, his target here is really Brandy. And Ari is just going up because she's associated with her. Well, and he, he wants, wants to, split to up the break pair. up the pair. Yeah. And Ross, however, has his struggles with Lady O. He wants <laughs> her up there. He doesn't want to get rid of one of his allies. She's a liar. It's fake news. So Mark is like, yeah, I know, but I really want to get rid of Brandy. <laughs> so whatever. Okay, it's a <laughs> time for a little tiny bullshit package. <laughs> Mark misses music so much in the house that he uh, daydreams about James singing while he's on the elliptical. I feel like they're trying to recreate the magic of the pizza song from Justin, Big Brother Over the Top. Yeah. But you cannot top the Over the Top pizza song. You just can't. He, it was a nice try, but... There, there will never, ever be another one. No. Never. No. He is in Big Brother... Uh, like hall of fame i don't know i did appreciate though when mark was like woo with his tattoos and they yeah. put his nipples yeah that was nice <laughs> that was funny okay so anyway back to not the game it's amorosa story time oh, every week she's contractually ob obligated to tell us a little fun fact about the white house she's gonna Trump. become a youtuber focusing on story times yeah <laughs> all right so she was on Oprah with Trump. She's like, this lighting sucks. The best lighting in my whole career was when I was on Oprah. I was so well lit. And when Oprah, It's lit! And when Oprah said she was going to run for... Or they told Oprah to run for president, I was like, oh my god, I already have a picture with Oprah. <laughs> or should I say, oh, I already have a picture with Oprah. Yeah, that was not yeah. Omarosa right there. <laughs> um, but then she's like, yes, I've been on Air Force One. It's fun. But this was interesting, actually. Yeah. You have to pay for your meals on Air Force One? What? I guess so. That's crazy. You think Trump would pick up that bill, right? Hey, come on my plane. Well, you, know, you paying? $23 flat fee for just the snacks. That sucks. That I would be suck. like, um, I've got a cliff bar in my purse. Yeah. I don't need this. <laughs> All right. So she got the bill, but it was cool to fly into her old hometown where she grew up mm -hmm. and be in a, a motorcade motor with the president even if it was with, with mr president <laughs> yeah right yeah but anyway now it's time to get back to the game All brandy right, finally she's just not doing herself any favors she's antagonizing mark she's she's uh, like so james let you win that hoh huh did why you guys do, plan that why do you think that is so he can play in the gulp next HOH. And no, you it's bad when you see the wine glass in the hand. Yeah. <laughs> glug, 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 mm -hmm. glug. So he was just like, oh, wow. I mean, that, that doesn't feel good. It, um, it seemed like he didn't even realize until she said it, which is kind of funny. No, he, he knows what's like, up. Huh? He knows that, obviously, that James gave that to him, and he doesn't care. He's No, 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 no. I mean, he didn't realize that he wasn't going to be able to play in the next oh no he knew that you know what i mean though it didn't really dawn on him right away that that was what james was thinking okay i don't know i think he realized but okay <laughs> i think he did after she pointed it out i think he she really planted that idea in his head i don't know but in any case brandy was already in trouble anyway she was already the target going into this but the drinking did not help. No. So it was time for nominations and... It's Brandy and Ari. No oh, surprise there. Yeah. And he said, Brandy, you've been plotting against me for weeks. And then he said, Ari, you're up because Brandy sucks. <laughs> Basically, that's what he said. And I just want to fly. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was it for tonight's episode. But what the hell? They're having a vote for America's Favorite House Guest. This is B... S. Is they there going to be a cash prize, or is this yeah. just like for fun? No, funsies? this is twenty five thousand. They said that. Yeah. What? They should be giving that money to charity. They've been there for like three weeks total. That's and they get twenty five thousand, the same that that you would get in a regular season of Big Brother. No, 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 no. <laughs> this That's is crazy. ridiculous. Believe it in the comments. Who your favorite house guest is? 
They're gonna get like free babysitting for a year, you know, like. I don't know. Come on. I don't know. But I was like, <sighs> when they announced that. How about like we have a write in and like be no one? Give this money to charity. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give this money so Oprah can run for president. My favorite house guest this season was all of the wigs and hair extensions. <laughs> the bag of wigs? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Let us know what you thought in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love.